hello guys and welcome back to the channel so guys a friend of mine brought this asus laptop for me asking me to fix the problem and his complaint was that whenever he powers on the laptop that the laptop will boot into the BIOS environment instead of booting into the windows operating system all right so i'm actually with the laptop here right now so if you're experiencing this same problem on your asus laptop i'm going to show you how you can fix this problem by following just few steps that i'll be showing you in this video all right with that being said let's jump straight into the video guys all right guys so before showing you how to fix this problem let me show you how the problem looks so i'm going to power off the laptop all right so the computer is off so i'll power on the laptop again as you can see here guys it keeps booting into the bios environment instead of booting into the windows operating system all right guys so the first thing that i did was to remove the laptop keyboard because i was thinking the bios key which is the escape key was automatically operating itself once you power on the laptop but even after removing the keyboard the problem still persists so that tells me that this problem is not from the keyboard is going to be from the bios environment all right so i'm going to show you how to fix that so i'll be using this external keyboard to demonstrate these guys so i'll go ahead and then plug the external keyboard and then i'll be using this arrow key to navigate through different options on the bios environment all right so the first thing we'll do here now is to use the arrow key to select security so from there if you select security then you scroll down scroll down to secure boot menu and then you click on enter as you can see here guys the secure boot is currently enabled so we need to disable it i'll click on enter and then i'll select disable and then i'll click on enter after that click on escape and then select boot use the arrow key to select boot and then scroll down to launch csm as you can see here guys it's currently disabled so we need to enable it i'll click on enter and then i'll select enable and click on enter then after making that changes guys you want to select on save and exit and then you scroll down to save changes and click on enter click yes so after that you scroll up to save changes and exit and then click yes to confirm all right so and this simple step will automatically fix that problem guys as you can see guys the problem has been resolved and the laptop is now booting into the windows operating system all right guys so if this method helps you to fix the problem on your pc i would like you to give the video a thumbs up drop down your comments in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel if today is your first time of watching my video here on youtube all right so with that being said see you guys in the next one bye for now